we can start uh, yep. with David uh, David Pilla is Vila, Vila. Vila. sorry is <laughs> uh, Iberian Studies teacher and he has a lot of uh, works uh, in academic space Esparroa. bueno <laughs> in the <laughs> academic space but I think he is going to explain better what uh, he does so David please <laughs> sorry because I say I uh, badly your your surname so you can <laughs> Uh, so, hate. Yes. Okay. <laughs> hate. Hate. <laughs> oh, no. Okay. Ah! Okay. <laughs> okay, so, um, so I'm going to tell you a bit about myself then. Um, uh, my name is uh, Vila, which is, I'm used to uh, Villa anyway, because Vila is a Galician Portuguese surname, so that's from Northwestern. Uh, Iberian, but then Northwestern Iberian Peninsula, but everyone here, they because they think that the, they speak Spanish, they immediately they say they see Villa and they're like, oh no no, I I can speak Spanish, I know you should say this, Villa. So that's the, uh, <laughs> but I, I always have to say actually no, Villa has two L's. This is a different different thing. But yeah, so what else? Um, yeah, I'm a, um, I work at the. Um, um, CSUMB, California State uh, University, um, um, Monterey Bay. I've been here for, I came to the US in 2000 and, uh, uh, let me think, 2011, and I left the Basque country in 2006. I lived in, in the UK for about five years um, in Southern England and, and London. And uh, I, I play music. I'm a musician. I have a, a, a band. I have different albums that I release music with. And one of my main um, focuses um, in my research, uh, academic research, is um, um, Iberian uh, popular music. So I talk a lot about my dissertation. For instance, my PhD dissertation was about um, uh, punk in Spain and how punk um, influenced the way uh, the Spanish youth thinks politically. And um, <clears throat> I don't know. That's uh, I guess for for a beginning. I could keep going, but uh, just to start with something short and nice. Okay. Um, as you say, you are a, a research a researcher, so I think it's interesting for me, for example, uh, to ask about the reception of the of the Basque uh, in the US uh, or in the UK because you have been there uh, living, uh, living too. So what do you think the people in the US say and the UK th uh, think about our language and our country? I think there's, I mean, of course there's different perspective, different points of view, different people. But I'd say <clears throat> there's one definite um, perspective and that's the the people that see the Basque country and the Basque culture, something like magical, mythological, like something that is like la mía, que ta vas a vas a like old old things and uh, <laughs> like mi mythological things. And that's that's always funny because even I'd say that even many of the uh, Basque people, the the you know the the let's say the Basque American community, <clears throat> they're so far away from the Basque country, and many of them came here like many years ago. Let's say a hundred years ago, they didn't go through, let's say the 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 uh, Franco's dictatorship. They didn't go through many things, so they have a vision of the Basque country that is somehow. I, I'd say something that doesn't really exist, mm -hmm. and uh, and instead of maybe knowing about, I'm gonna say unta cortatu escorbuto la polla, eh, I don't know, like whatever you want to talk about, it's like more recent. They yes. they know they know about la mía que vas a jaunar, eh, <laughs> eh, like eh, las cao chiqui, o like 
things that are very like old. <clears throat> so that's one part. Then um then I would say also the people that just know about the Basque country through you know Pinchos and San Sebastian. Yeah. So like another maybe another stereotype too. Mm. But uh, um, the, food, uh, places to visit and uh, all the very old uh, things, right? Yeah. I, I, I have thought about that uh, many times because uh, many Basque people went to, to the United States uh, so long ago. So um, maybe um, the family transmission helped having uh, those uh, old uh, ideas or maybe? Yeah, and, and, and also things such as for instance i mean and i'm get, i'm gonna be very critical right now here but like for instance do you have to speak basque to be basque really you don't have to speak basque to be basque how many people are basque and don't speak basque a because they went through the dictatorship they didn't have the opportunity to learn basque b because maybe they just don't happen to have a basque speaking family they went to school and they barely can say a few things which have i'm from i, I grew up in abadino <clears throat> Mm -hmm. When I went to Bilbao to university, it, I, I was amazed because I was like, these people can't, they can't speak Basque. Like, uh, obviously not everyone in, in Bilbao can't speak Basque, but I found people, some people that couldn't. And I was like, wow, because to me, even in, in Abadino, like even the, let's say like the, the worst students could communicate in Basque because mm -hmm. all, all our classes were in Basque, everything was in Basque. Mm -hmm. So when I went to Bilbao, I was like, oh, this is amazing. Like these people don't speak Basque. I can't believe this. Happened. So um, in those terms, I think that people that have these old stories from, you know, their ancestors, they think that the, sometimes that the Basque country is a place where everyone is Basque, everyone plays pelota, everyone everyone speaks Basque all the time. Everyone is like doing irintis, like to wake up and hey, how you doing? Hey, hey, hey how you doing? I'm all right. And like, <clears throat> so, de chalaparta, no? Chalaparta, triquitisha. Alboca. <laughs> That, that's, that's why uh, for for us it's uh, fun. I think uh, for 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 uh, us it's fun uh, to be uh, Twitch streamers <laughs> and uh, Basque Twitch streamers. So it's like um, I, I I would say um, 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 not what uh, many Basque people uh, thinks uh, we should be. Maybe. Um, I'm not. I'm not playing. I'm. I'm not playing um, as good as I would. But um, uh, you understand the point, or not? Yeah, well, uh, yeah, it's like it always was suspected from you as a Basque person. Yeah, like you but, should. Uh, you should be doing something more Basque. But uh, <laughs> ma ma mainly, mainly for um, the Aspor, I think, like um, yeah, they 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 would expect uh, some some of them uh, would expect uh, Irinti and all that. And I think it's fun uh, to be uh, doing the the thing the the, the same thing uh, they like, but don't associate with uh, being Basque. Hmm. Yeah, uh, I like uh, and 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 that's I think, I mean that's interesting. Like my, my family is not from the Basque country. My family is from Galicia. They they went to the Basque country. I'm sure you all know this that in the Basque country, like fifty percent of the workers in the factories were from Galicia, yeah. uh, Extremadura. Like yep. they would send buses to all those places and like bring whole families. So they would go work in the Altos Hornos, et cetera, et cetera. So my family speaks Galician at home. Like none of my family, like all my family is in Galicia. Even now my parents too. Like I have no relatives in the Basque country. Uh, my, my grandparents didn't, my grandma does not speak any Spanish, only Galician. So not even Basque. Am I Basque? I'm Basque. I was born in Eibar. Um, and I've I've lived there 22 years. I speak Basque. Back to English. So I've spoken Basque and I've spoken Galician with my family. Uh, but honestly, for instance, right now, the last time I spoke Basque, it might, it might have been like a year ago, because I don't find people here. I used to live in Nashville, Tennessee, and I had two, one from um, Arrasate and, and from uh, La Rabetu, and we used to get together and speak Basque, 
but otherwise you don't really find that opportunity. But then again, what I want to say with this is, but I'm also Basque. Yeah. So, sure. yeah. Uh, we are, we are having uh, some issues with the uh, with another uh, with, with the other okay, guest. Then. Yeah, uh, she's uh, having some difficulties to, to. David, I don't know how to ask this question, but I think uh, what you have said it's connected to what Elodie says bef uh, before. Uh, in our interview or this thing we are doing here uh, and it's the difference uh, between having an ingurua <laughs> and Basque uh, culture environment environment, environment? Oh. around, like around a community, community. Yeah. yeah or or not and uh, she uh, for example for example uh, she said she's from uh, Los Angeles so the only person that uh, she had uh, she had known as Basque is uh, her mother and now my dad her Basque teacher and instead of that there were there was Jean Pierre that he has in back in Bakersfield a uh, bus community so it's different because uh, he said to us uh, he play he has to play uh to play pelota uh, do Euskal Danza and I think it's difference between having a community or or not, no? Yeah, and also the, the kind of community that you can have here, like for instance in Bakersfield, which is a place with a big Basque community, and so is San Francisco. But that community, unless you keep getting Basque people that come here now, which is not the case really anymore, like it's not as much as back in the day, um, so that community is a it's an old community that is gonna everything that's gonna like provide or, like the culture that's gonna share with the rest of the community the members of the community is gonna be a very specific culture. For instance, all those people that came um, yeah, from the Basque country before Franco, mm. like how how do you understand what it means to be Basque now without mm. having experience? So many people, <coughs> excuse me, many people here, they get a, a, a community, but it's also not nearly the same community, but they would get uh, with uh, a younger gen generation or like they would get in the Basque country today. And not just in terms of having gone through the dictatorship, other things, but in the Basque country, there's a huge um, African population, a black population. I mean, what means to be Basque is much wider much mm. it's much bigger much richer than what you can communicate from 100 years ago based on basahaunak talamiak that all these like uh, mythological things that's the uh, i mean you can be the son of a german man and uh, another black man and speak basque and and, and live in i don't know in lapurdi yeah. so and you're still as basque as you know, uh, whoever you want. Yes, so. for e for example, uh, we we mentioned before Dylan English. Uh, he's a, a English a young a boy man, <laughs> and he has he used to learn Basque uh, in in a few years because. He used to come uh, on holidays to the to Lapurdi, and now, well, now he he isn't uploading videos to to his YouTube channel, but he has a YouTube channel uh, speaking Basque and explaining and, uh, Basque uh, language stuff. And uh, super, super too. It's oh. like. Uh, 
one of the most difficult uh, dialects of the Basque language. And uh, I, I know you know that, but uh, for yeah, yeah. the audience. <laughs> uh, and I think, uh, as you say, that there is uh, like a bucolic vision, no? Of, of the Basque country and the Basque culture. How do you think uh, we can change or we can or what uh, can we do we can do well what we can do uh, to change uh, this per perception well i think one of the things that for instance um, those professors who teachers that teach uh, not just basque language and culture at universities but any other because <clears throat> here's the other thing uh mainly uh, basque culture is taught as part of Spanish culture. Like there are only a few situations in which you have one specific class that is about Basque. For the rest, you have Spanish culture or and then the Spanish cultures, maybe in plural. And then you touch different ones. You talk about Galicia, Catalonia, you, you talk about the Basque country. But <clears throat> so it's always uh, like a tiny little part that you can that you can show. But I think that when, when we do this, I don't think um, like talking about the stereotypes is the, the best thing to do, which is which we often do. Uh, and uh, again, like, I don't know, talking about <laughs> Escorbuto, <clears throat> talking like talking about La Polla Records, for instance, like to me, that's as, back, that's as Basque as you can get. It communicates a specific way of being Basque. And, uh, and you can learn what the Basque country is today. And, and of course, we can go Bercho and all that too. But that's not just like Escorbuto, even though Escorbuto, two of them were Galician and one was from Extremadura, is a Basque project. So it's as Basque as Bercho Laritza. As Basque. Mm -hmm. same, same Basque uh, level. So I think that focusing on those things that are not stereotypically Basque uh, would be beneficial too, so that they can, you know, go beyond mm. the stereotype. Uh, Nico, do you have any question? Uh, no, because I was uh, trying to solve the technical issues. I'm sorry, <laughs> but I, 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 mean, I wasn't um, very, 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 very in in the conversation. Uh, I, no. I heard, I heard some words. But no, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, okay, in the chat uh, here we have a question uh, yeah. that it says, how, how about the sumo streams from these guys from on the, on the road? Well, I don't know if you know, David, uh, there are uh, some guys of on the road streaming uh, sumo. sumo in Basque, well, in Ondarrotar Basque, <laughs> <Gallera. laughs> and it's very funny because it's like you don't speak uh, to... It's to... the weird, weird Basque internet. Yes. Uh, uh, people from Ondarru streaming sumo for uh, people from Maspeiti. It's uh, magical. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I but, that, but that's like... Um... There's a, a, a band from Lake Atio, the gypsies from Lake Atio that, that sing flamenco in Basque. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And uh, <clears throat> I'm not going to remember that. There's another one in in, 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 in in San Sebastian too, and in, in Bilbao. Like I know, like I use, I play flamenco and I've played with gypsies from um, uh, in the UK too, but also in, I want to say the place in Portugalete. Uh -huh. And uh, <clears throat> And uh, they sing in Basque, and they sing uh, songs, and and they speak Basque. It's not like they 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 took Basque for the song, but they're gypsies singing flamenco in Basque. So what is this? Is that Basque music? <laughs> is it not Basque music? Because it's flamenco, yeah, but they Basque. They they are Basque, yeah, but they play music that maybe it's not Basque. So again, like uh, I I like I like um um like. We will say uh, for the for the, for the American audience, um, <laughs> improvised uh, oral poetry 
okay? A virtual Aritza and all that. And uh, uh, once I was in a um, meeting uh, talking about different um, uh, improvisation cultures around the world and all that, and I, I was with, with a guy from Murcia, another one from Catalonia, and, uh, and me. Uh, and maybe someone from Mexico, I would say. But uh, the thing is that uh, uh, we were talking about uh, what uh, what is uh, our um, uh, culture and all that, and uh, th their their uh, understanding uh, understanding of uh, what was their their culture was uh, extremely closed, like <laughs> like. <laughs> We, we, we would we would uh, take uh, Bob Marley's songs, uh, change the 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 the, the rhythm, and uh, make it a virtue. But for them, it it was like, no, <laughs> we have five uh, melodies or uh, whatever you call them, and uh, we we will sing uh, only with uh, those melodies, and uh, that uh, never has been my culture like uh, we've we've been uh, all the time um, improvising um uh, trying different things uh, mixing and uh, <laughs> it, it was uh, very strange for me like uh, to 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 see uh, someone like uh, taking their culture as something very 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 um close uh, close like like li limited you know uh, also yeah. Mugatua, not not close, but uh, in in like in Mugatua. <laughs> limited. Yeah. yeah, limited. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and that's the again like we talk about like like pure you know like purists. I mean like yeah. having like kind of like a pure pure culture, but yeah, also in 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 Galicia there's the same thing. Regeifa, Regeifa is the same thing as Bertolaritza. But um, basically, just yeah, in, in fact, in fact, uh, in, on Daru, I think uh, they do something. Or I, I've I've seen uh, videos from on Daru. Uh, they do a uh, reggae bercho, which mm -hmm. is oh. a mix of uh, reggae fa and bercholarita. Well, it's not a mix uh, like uh, a different uh, culture, but uh, uh, reggae reggae feiros reggae feiros. Uh, um, come to Ondaru or whatever, and uh, they sing a song, um, th they sing and, and learn with uh, with people from Ondaru. So That's it's fair. like, and, and they uh, go back to, yeah, it's... Um, yeah, that's very interesting. Sh sharing, sharing their cultures, yeah. But Agurtzeko David, Agian, kontatu aldigo hemen. Eman, eh, nahi dugun edukia, hau da, <laughs> kontatzea nahi baldin badu, pues, eukenere, Bai, horia. Eukenere ba, kinduen eu... aventura. Horia. Aventura hori. Nahi dugun er, er, ezala, euskera? Nahi dugun ezala. 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 Jon Andoni Franco Lorza San San eta neretzako ba eukidan ira, irakaslerik hobe nahi San San eta pertsona moduan ere nire berada nire lagun hoberena da hoi San San eta eukene Jon Andoni Franco Lorzaren e, alaba da eta ikusi nuen ikusi nuenian i mailan bera amen egongo sala ba sorpresa sorpresa handia izan San eta Jon Andoni Franco Lorza ba nik oin ni hemen estatu batuetan egotearen eh pois eh eh como se diria esango te erruduna erantzuleo erruduna bai erruduna bai esango nuen erruduna ba es 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 nuen erruduna esan nai porque errudunek baina bai eta erantzulek dauka karga negatibo gutxiago ez ba erantzule bai Eta harekin enuen nire ba, formulari guztiak eta gauza guztiak eh, eh, bidali unibertsitatera amen eta rekomendazio gutunak eta egin zituen etzeko. Eta, bueno, gauza asko, gauza asko, gauza asko. Eh, unibertsitatea hasi... 
Y Chulza ya tiene ahí nada, es Dardoan, que Cristo me... Vaya. Vaya, 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 aren alaba, alaba, da. Joder, va, se pena, chua, eukene. Caupan, gurekin, izateko aukera teknikorik, es izatea, baina, bueno, urrengo batetarako, bai, zu David eta baita eukene, berriz gonbidatuak zaudete, orain TikToken esaten den bezala ezuenean ematen denborarik estoritaima bideo berean e, kontatzeko e, jarraiten du. Parte dos. Bigarren <laughs> bai, bai, Bigarren atala. Bai. Oh, bai, es que pena, baño eh, zuzenean egitaren eh, magia eta arazoak hoiek dia. <laughs> Ondo ateratzen denean magia eta arazoak denean, bueno, pues visita, visita. Bueno, eh, bon, bueno eh, David, eh, ni kasu gutxin dizut barkatu nazu eh, arazokin neon galako, baino esker kasko dotortzea gatik, eta eta hori. Es, 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 da, es da izan nabarmena, tarduan, oin, oin bak igo esan duzulako, baino, bestela. <risa> <risa> e, bueno, okay. ba, hori, espero et e, ratatxe gina pasatzea zuk, e, publikoak ere, barre, barre egingo zuten ere, gure sufrimentuaren... E, <risa> e, nik gaizki pasatu dute, ez bada igarri. <risa> Bueno, eh, eh, ni quiere, ni quiere. Vaya, bueno, eh, visita, visita. Vale, va. Um, ¿O el auto de Google está jungo de Aurengo? Vale, va. Vale. Va, es que el casco, David. Eh, pasa a ti. Yo, mi Jessie, el pasa a ti. Vale. Esta hora, eh. Marca tú.